Afternoon guys, uh, just want to do a bit of an update um, to where we are. Um, right now we're sort of deciding where we want to take things here in Spain. Um, you can see I'm still on my old Fitbit and I was a bit slow the last couple of days. So today I'm going for 20,000 steps uh, which will push me way over what I've, I'm down by. <laughs> I'm down by about 3,000 steps over the last two days, so about 1,500 a day. Um, but it's still over my burn rate. In other words, I'm still burning more calories than I'm taking in, so it's not too bad. Um, so today is a bit of a punishment for myself. I'm going to do 20,000 steps uh, to basically, A, sort of kick myself up the backside for being down by uh, 3,000 steps the last two days, but also the extra 7,000 steps. Um, yeah, what was that? So, uh, da -da. Yeah, so I'll be up today by another, what's that, about eight and a half thousand steps, I suppose. Um, yeah, so I'm out and about today over at the uh, nature park. But I just want to do a bit of an update um, relating to the Philippines side. Uh, we'll do Philippines first, but I mean, right now in Spain, I'm in holiday mode. I'm, I'm taking two weeks off. I'm still actually doing stuff online, etc. But in all honesty, I just want to spend a bit of time with the family before the school starts. Um, so yesterday we went snorkeling. Uh, today I'm going to take we'll be fishing. Um, but one of the problems I I have right now is it gets so hot during the day. So it's only me bimbling about. April and the kids are at the house because uh, it's been in the 30s for probably the last couple of weeks um, not that I'm grumbling, I love it it actually helps sweat sweat more calories off so I'm loving it um, the house move is still in limbo at the moment because we're already set, set to sign the contract and then they sent over a new contract and then when I read it we've got liabilities like the plumbing, the electrics etc um, which is fine if they'd actually recognise the problems with the plumbing, the electrics, etc. in the contract. But they hadn't. They put it down as an all good condition. Well, it's not. Um, they've had a cowboy electrician in and basically half the light switches are broken because where he's took the covers off, he ain't been smart enough to understand how the covers come off. So he's basically ripped them off and the covers are missing. Nearly every light is either missing its uh, missing its fitting or just dangling on cables. So all that needs, is, you know, it's all new installation. Um, now, if I sign the contract, obviously I'm going to struggle to get money out the landlord to replace all the stuff that should actually be in there because it's supposed to be fit minimum fixes and fittings. Never mind the bloody uh, stuff they've left behind that I don't want in there. <laughs> But it's not even in the contract. Things like microwave, fridge and all this sort of stuff, they've left behind, but it's not even in the contract. So there's a whole ream of stuff going on with that. And basically I rejected the contract, written why. The lawyer then sort of scratched his head, then sent something back um, with his translation, which, let's just be honest, if it, I think the word laziness sort of jumps in it was his version of the translation from Spanish was basically a little bit that sort of said sign here um, he hadn't even bothered translating the document um, because there's other things tied into this which yeah there's there's one somebody flying a drone sounds like the drone somewhere um, yeah one of the things it was was a bit of a concern was he also signed in there on the contract that the rate increases for rent would be in line with real estate well that's actually wrong um, the reason being is the real estate values here are pretty much made up um, I mean you look at all this this is holiday rentals these are not people that are here all year round some of the properties in our own block there's only people here in the summer and a lot of these are like that the, the, i mean you, there is no real price because what happens is joe blog 
give the property to five real estate agents, they all give it five different prices. Now, I've mentioned this before when we looked at buying an apartment, one was, at one agent it was like 40,000, at their high end it was 90. It's the same property. Because um, they're sticking like 10,000 on for the agent, well, it should be about 5,000 for the agent, another 10,000 for the agency. It's all completely fabricated. Um, now, what it should have actually done is actually put in line with inflation, which would have been, okay, well, well it'll go up by 4%, 5%, whatever. It's something that would actually happen. And it gives you an index that's actually something that is relevant to most things. Um, in some places, it's actually Spanish law from what I read about it. Um, so even his own interpretation of the what he should be putting in there was incorrect. Um, so that, yeah, that's left me in limbo. There'll be about a thousand euros if this doesn't go through as well. Um, but hey ho, it's just one of those things. Um, so I could grumble and say April shouldn't have signed, signed off on it and given the deposit. But at the same time, it's not April's fault because she didn't really know about uh, property contracts. So, um, yeah, so it's still in negotiation. So the other problem I've got is this is where we live. We, we live over here, you know, and this is on my doorstep. Um, along with the, the behind these houses, obviously, uh, where the beach and that is. But where we'll be living is over that other side of that hill. It's more um, urbanised. Okay, we get a swimming pool and a tennis court, but I like this. <laughs> you know, so, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm probably digging my heels in. Uh, not high heels or stilettos, just normal, normal heels, <laughs> guy heels, um, to, to make sure this is done right. Because if I'm going to be committed to moving. Um, I'm not going to be screwed over on a bad contract. The other side of this being is the internet here is absolutely dire at the minute because everybody's here. It's August, Spain's on holiday. Um, so everything's chock a block. Um, but the new house, which is one of the plus sides, I've got a 300 meg connection. So that, that's, the, that's the upside of this. I don't know if I'm going to get past here. The guys are busy doing the uh, the grapes off the vines. Was it grapes? It might be something else actually. Yeah, I don't think there's enough space to get past the truck. Um, yeah, it is grapes. Some nice grapes there. Funny thing is, if you want some Lamata wine, which is what this is, eventually, um, there's a shop in Torreveca. If you go near the harbour area and then head back into the town a little bit, you'll see um, the sh a shop that sells the localised wine. I haven't actually tried any yet. It it's one of those things that it's just reminded me to buy some. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's, that's, that's the wine from our area. I can't see any grapes on these guys, otherwise can, but they've got some nice bunches of grapes there. Um, but I don't know if I'm going about sweet pan. But anyway, yeah, so things are, things are looking okay. I mean, right now, I say I'm in holiday mode. Um, Income-wise, I've started some new things, uh, which I'm actually up by $160 a month at the minute. Um, and I want to increase that by literally thousands over the next couple of years. Um, there's a load of stuff I'm going to be sharing on a new channel which is going to be focused on making money online etc and the reason it's a separate channel is I know a lot of you guys have no interest in making money off yeah there's somebody complaining about where the truck is now look yeah <laughs> um, I mean it's not I mean I'm not being funny at the end of the day the guys are trying to do a job so my own view on this is I'm not going to bother the guys trying to squeeze past. Um, I know they're going to get people coming up and down, but at the end of the day, you still get, they're still going to get the grapes one way or the other. Um, but yeah, the yeah, I'm going to be focused on making more money. 
because um, I need to get away from going into the UK so much. Uh, so the, there's different stuff going to be going on. First thing is I'm going to be doing another channel with the new drone. Um, I haven't even got that out of the box yet. That's how busy I've been since I've come back. That's still boxed, um, the new drone. And then I'm going to do another video on that one, showing you how it changed the motors on the old drone, um, where, where I knackered all the motors on the other one. Um, and on that side, I'm going to try and do some more collaboration stuff with some of the guys that are already here. Because um, we've got um, Expat and Mazaron, for example, he does a load of stuff on drones. Always a little tractor. Our ah, truck's going as well now. I oh, will have a walk down then. I hope it doesn't kick up too much dust. Certainly hot work being out here doing this all day. Hey, I wouldn't mind doing this for a day. <laughs> just for the experience um, I couldn't do it full time and yeah the yeah but yeah I could certainly understand it being viable in this area because just so much wine I mean well, that's one of the things I do find a bit bizarre with the old Brexit thing uh, um, sorry EU the amount of tax duty we pay on alcohol when this stuff is actually less than we'd pay on the tax duty to actually buy the, buy the wine here. So basically the tax you pay in the UK, um, if you look up on the website, I think it's something like £3 tax or something that goes on every bottle of wine. Yet yeah, you find a lot of the... Um, a lot of the wine is actually for sale for less than three quid a bottle um, which is sort of just question me with, across Europe how everything is supposed to be sort of equal when it obviously isn't because we're still getting taxed the premium there's a little dragonfly let's have a look, look. see if we can sit them on the camera let me go for that no you won't have it <laughs> try and get him to sit there. Okay, I'll have to edit some of this out. Uh, I was trying to catch him. But anyway, yeah, so uh, yeah, I can't understand why wine, for example, in the whole scope of things in Europe can be more expensive than it is in Spain above travel charges because the whole thing of Europe was to make everything the same price as a common marketplace um, so yeah that, that's one of those things where I sit there and go well that didn't happen did it but you do get like say Bernie Eggleston whatever his name is from Formula One not paying any tax because it's his wife's business or whatever um, and they move out to Monaco um, but I'll tell you what this, this is something to look up look up the anti-tax anti-tax uh, evasion laws for the EU um, because they're coming in conveniently before the Brexit so I assume old Philip Green Monaco 
um, Starbucks, PayPal, Luxembourg um, will be able to be exempt from paying taxes because they ain't going to fall under the same rules because the UK isn't going to accept them which will allow them to continue keeping all their profits offshore well not offshore out of the UK so basically you're avoiding all the tax It's a bit of a long walk today because I'm, like I said, I'm doing 12,500 this morning and I've got to do 20,000 steps today. Um, how many minutes is this? This is quite a long video. Um, I know I've been nattering on. Well, I hope you enjoyed the scenery, even if you don't enjoy me talking. Um, but yeah, but I mean, for me, for the Brexit stuff, I'm not really fussed. If anything, I'm sort of tired of hearing about it, you know, because that, the, the big problem I have with it is it's, a lot of it is just noise. Um, no decisions made, just blah, 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 sell a newspaper, blah, 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 get people to watch the news so we can get the advertising revenue. Um, just give us the facts get enough junk without actually having to deal with it on a daily basis hearing about something that they still haven't decided what they're actually doing some fish in here by the way ah there you go look at that look at the size of them see them let me stand still that's where all the fish are from the matter when you're down at La Mata um, Beach, there's a canal way, and this is where it goes. But well, look at the amount of fish in here. You're probably going, I don't know what you're talking about because you can't see them. Um, I'll walk up, I oh, can't walk up the edge, I'm not allowed in there. Uh, you might see them on the top there. There you go. See them jumping? Something spooked them. Oh, they're coming up to the surface now. That's a lot of fish. There's, a, there's some dinner in there, I tell you. <laughs> this is uh, seawater, by the way. It's uh, salt water. It, the, yeah, the canal way in Lamata comes up here to feed this lake. My dad's going to love this. With the fish. My dad loves fishing. My dad loves fishing. Um, hopefully get him over here later on this year again. Because uh, he's been busy with his camera club stuff and obviously my mother's funeral and things. So, um, yeah. it be nice to get him and uh, my brothers over for a bit. Now this is the problem I have is I quite like just watching things so I do get quite boring in that sense because I like just watching watching fish and birds all that horrible nature stuff <laughs> yeah, there plenty of fish in here yeah they're coming up now because I'm not moving do I need to stop talking? well no they don't really get that affected by sound it's more if I started walking they get the vibrations through my feet or they can see my movement oh some serious fish in there then yeah so what else can we talk about um yeah the house move i'm still i'm still a woman in now i mean because if we stay where we are i'm not too fussed because i actually like it here as, as you can see this is what's on my doorstep instead of having a pond in the garden i've got this um and obviously walking over here helps me with my fitbit steps every day so there's no downside to this these guys aren't going to come any closer, are they? I was just trying to work out what fish they are. It's hard to see at this, at this distance. Beyond lunch. You're not allowed to fish in here, by the way. That's another thing, which is why they're all hiding in here. 
mean, I can see them right up near the top. I can see things coming in and out of the water as well. That's pretty cool. Alright, I'll tell you what, let's go and see if we can see some birds. Now, the one thing I will say is the GoPro may not pick up a lot of the stuff I actually see. Um, so I apologise for that. And I can't get any nearer these fish because the as soon as I get anywhere nearer, they're going to move. Um, but we'll go and see if we can see some of the birds on the way round. Oh, there's some more fish over here as well. Not as many and they're about the same distance, so I can't, can't get it close enough. I mean, the good thing about the GoPro is I could stick it under the water, but I can't reach. <laughs> um, yeah, so what else? When am I going back to the Philippines? Um, some people have already started rumours that are blacklisted in some form. That's, I've got to admit, these people are the dumbest people I know. Um, why, why would I say that? Well, the first thing is, why would you bother wasting your time and other people with this sort of crap? Um, I have MBI clearance because I needed MBI clearance for my anti-terrorism clearance in the UK because I've been outside the country for so long. Um, so, yes, I've got full clearance, and no, there is no pending warrants or anything else. Now, the other thing is, the little frog guy that spreads this stuff, um, he does have warrants outstanding from several people in several countries, um, relating to the crap he puts online like that sort of lie. Uh, I did have a look at it myself, and the problem is, easiest option to get something out of the guy would be me to move to France sit there and file a load of stuff in France but quite simply he's not worth my time um, so I and all I see doesn't really bother or affect me so I don't really care what the little guy is doing um, the other guy is that Australian um, I don't really want to say his name uh, very critical of another expat, but the joke being is, he's not an expat. He's probably more in line with the idiot abroad. Where, if you watch Carl Pilkerton, the idiot abroad, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. He's very similar in his misunderstandings of how the world works, etc. Um, and that's not a knockback, it's more a case of reality that from what I see, they're very similar. Some cricket. But anyway, yeah, I'll be going back when I can. Right now, um, as I said, and I keep saying, my mother-in-law is coming to Spain first. Hear the cricket? That's so loud. All that noise and I can't see one. Yeah, um, well, my mother-in-law has now had her birth certificate altered um, because they misspelled her father's name. And then that was the rejection reason from the, uh, the guys that do the passports. So that's took up until now. Booking the appointment for the passport will be another, probably, talking November now by the time everything gets done. Now, one of the important things I want to explain here is the money is already in the Philippines for April's mother's trip. It is simply just waiting for this to be done so we can bring her over. Everything else is set up. If we need the passport, then file with the Spanish embassy, and then that's it, done. Job done. She can come over, visit us, see the grandkids, experience a country she's never seen, because uh, she's never been outside the Philippines before. And once that's done, I expect April's mother to be coming for at least two months a year, a year uh, coming over twice a year. Um, April's mother has been really good to us over the years, same with April's father. Um, so, for me, it's important. For me, going back to the Philippines, it's not a rush. Um, 
this needs to happen first because otherwise it, me going out there will sort of take priority and then it's sort of everything delays so with this being the priority to get April's mother over first it, it makes sure it happens um, because I, uh, I think it's important for April's mother especially this year after losing her husband because it will give her something to look forward to also the fact that um, if we go back to the Philippines the time we're there the, the, her thoughts are going to be when are we going back to Spain um, but this way she's going to come out here experience some of this because obviously she ain't going to walk the distance I'm walking now across all this sand um, but she's going to experience Spain whole new world whole new country and when she goes back to the Philippines A she'll know I'll be coming over soon um, but also she's got all the memories from here now that's important to me and I've explained this before we relating to my wife as well is I've experienced a lot of stuff over the years I've, I've lived in many countries I've visited many countries um, where I get my appreciation is seeing things through other people's eyes you know like taking somebody here for the first time and seeing them smile at seeing the, the nature um, experiencing something they've never done before that, that, I, that's what I that, that's what makes me happy so a lot of this stuff I've done already um, I was an army kid so I got to travel a lot, to a lot of places a lot of people will never see um, work wise I've been to many places that other people may never see um, and from here going forward we're going to other places big problem at the moment with April is I want to go um, to Germany for the for Christmas and she don't want to go because of the, the issues around, around the immigration problems um, and the, the, the anti-terrorism issues so for me it's a bit of a pain because I know the kids would love it there I, I, I spent six years of my childhood in Germany um, the winters there are fantastic when you go to those old traditional houses I remember uh, uh, Minden um, in Westphalia there is a big building in the the town square where you know you have the advent calendar with the days there's a big building with all the windows wooden windows proper house um, they open the shutters every day um, you get the snow it's just a whole experience you know you got the old nutcracker stuff and yeah I love it but that's why you know Germany is very special special to me in that sense my childhood that's probably where I have my fondest childhood memories because I spent some of my best years there um, even in the summertime we used to go to Melitabad the old uh, swimming pool um, and we spend our summer holidays there it's an outdoor swimming pool lots of teenage girls when you're a teenage boy um, BMXing and all that sort of stuff that was you know it's, it's like an 80s movie or something. <laughs> yeah my childhood there is like an 80s movie um, so yeah I've, I've got a lot of happy experiences most of the time now I'm more concerned about people experiencing new things I'm I love all that I mean it's like my son was talking yesterday about um, doing some uh, parasending um, asking if he'll do it and all this sort of stuff and like April I want to try and get April um, to fly a plane I'll slip that in because I'm, I haven't mentioned it to anybody because what I'm gonna do is probably just book a flight take her along for the day say we're going out for a drive and we'll get there and she'll realize that she's gonna be flying a, a small Cessna or a Piper um, I love that stuff I love doing that to people um, but yeah I'm just thinking should I go in this hut and I, I remember last time I was in there because it's nice in there nice and dark all the mosquitoes live in there and I've got my shorts on my sexy uh, sexy walking shorts on so I'm not gonna go in there 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm tempted because there's flamingos there. You might be able to see the flamingos. Um. Yeah, let's go for it. Uh, if I get any bites, it's your fault. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah. So that for me, that's important. That's why Paul's mother coming over is important first. Um, also, we're working on getting some new Philippines uh, contracts for call centres. Um, and I say Philippines because a lot of the businesses don't like using offshore people if they can help it. Um, or more importantly, they're more concerned about people knowing they're using offshore people. Um, so there's a whole ream of things I've got to do. That I'll be quiet for a second until I see if anybody's in here. Hello. Uh, I'm watching the birds in there. Uh, one of the things I will say um, is talking. To, well, my father was talking to somebody because he brings my father brings over his uh, camera gear, so he can actually see those birds properly from there. Um, but the water here was probably about 20 feet up before um, a few years. Well, probably 10 years ago. I don't know. But my dad was talking to somebody before, and there was the birds were much, much closer. Not sure why it, they're so far away now. Um, yeah, no idea. Cause it's, this is seawater, it's not fresh water. So you could fill this up by opening the lock gates and it would soon fill it up through the canal way. So it's not a case of um, it's a water shortage because it's salt water anyway. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, just enjoying life. I mean, I don't know what else to say, in all honesty, because like I said, I'm in holiday mode. I've sort of shown you around the park a little bit. I'm going to walk a bit further up. Uh, uh, what about the Philippines vlogs? Am I going to continue to do them? Uh, in all honesty, there's so many videos I've done already. The question is, should I remake a lot of them? Because my cameras and equipment's improved since the, the original ones. It'll be a case of just redoing a lot of the older videos. Um, but new material wise, there isn't a lot going on at the minute. I've got Jay uh, from Real Deal stopping at one of the apartments. Um, and he's been putting a few videos up with the the apartment units are available uh, for rent but because I'm not actually in the Philippines right now it's not a lot to really say I do get I do get dragged into it quite a lot with the drama and politics some people seem to like that sort of stuff myself I wish people a lot of it would, would just calm down um, some people need to realize they're not part of the uh, Kardashians where there's huge interest in it and I've no understand why the Kardashians have any interest in them but I would say is it my age group the answer is no I just don't understand what they actually do I mean, they seem famous for having a lawyer that got OJ off and that seems to be about it their father Beyond that, 
I can't really state what I say because it would sound quite rude in the sense that they seem to live off other people's money um, by selling, uh, marrying, marrying, marrying other people's money, um, in my own opinion. We've covered a few miles today already. I've got to get a chicken on the way back as well. The chicken we had the other day, by the way, I don't know if you've seen it on the Spanish channel, really nice. Uh, somebody did ask why they're so expensive, because they're equivalent to about £5.50. Um, you've got to bear in mind, this is a real chicken. Um, in the UK, it's the same sort of pricing you pay if you go to a farm shop or a proper butcher um, supermarket the, you find a lot of the chicken is not locally produced for example be from Turkey or wherever um, and it's injected with water the stuff we have here don't get any of that it's, uh, it's good chicken you don't, you don't get any of that spitting from the, the water passing out of it um, where they've got a syringe and it doesn't have any of that is it organic no idea didn't ask um but yeah i find those prices are pretty normal um i mean especially where my uh father lives in worcester we're, we're in a farming area so going to the farm shop you'll find that strawberries plums and everything else along with chicken pork or whatever um, you do end up paying a bit more but the quality is often better I don't know you'd, I can't say the same for plums and strawberries because it's the same a lot of these are the same people that sell them to the supermarkets in the first place uh, but certainly the chicken and the pork cuts and stuff often seem better um, I've got a friend who actually has lambs he, he does the lambs every year um, it's surprising how how little profit there is in it but they just have it for the fact of having them because it, it looks nice on their, on their house because <laughs> they've got not a huge place it's a small holding it's like a small farm but they keep the lambs and that in there because uh, it just looks nice <laughs> that's their thing other people have horses other people have whatever but yeah, the meat quality is good there. I'm going to take you into the woodland area. And I'll probably cut this video off because it's probably the longest video I've done on YouTube. That's a crematorium. Uh, not a crematorium. It's a graveyard. As far as I'm aware. I'll say as far as I'm aware. But I do think it's a graveyard. But well, this this park was part of the EU stuff. Um, EU, EU investment in this. Let's have a look. Now. This sign here will tell us a bit more about it. Those crickets are loud, aren't they? Okay, it would tell us about it, but it was there. Can't go swimming in there. Keep your dogs on a lead. Rarely do I see this happening, and I've never seen that happen. I've never seen anybody actually swimming. Um, I don't know how you get close enough to go swimming. One of the things I will say about here though is it's worth bringing a camera along. Um, there's always bugs and stuff that plenty to take pictures of. These guys are loud this morning, aren't they? Can we see one? So, I mean, there must be like thousands of them. I can't even see one. It's not just my eyesight.
funny when you think about it. They put these bags on the trees as well, I'm not sure what they do. It's like a black bag with something in it. I'm not sure if it's for helping with the bugs or helping the trees, no idea. Still can't see any. But yeah, this is what's right on my doorstep and one of the reasons um, I'm not too fussed if we don't move because I like it here. More vineyards. Ah, that's a new walkway going in. Got a new path in there somewhere. You can even smell the fresh wood. You can smell the fresh cut. I believe there's some snakes in here as well, but I don't think any of them are dangerous. Just for the odds on sea in them are probably I don't know, non-existent. Uh, it's normally bugs, you see, spiders, things like that. Some rabbits as well. So what we've got planned with the Spanish stuff. Right now, um, I'm focused on increasing my income in Spain. Uh, there's multiple ways that's going to go. I've got some stuff investment related, I've got some stuff related to doing some new websites, YouTube stuff, and uh, lots of lots of things going on. Uh, but right now, I'm sort of in my two week holiday mode. That's new as well. It's like a some sort of fountain or tap. Uh, one of the things I will say in this area at the moment, um, there's problems with the reservoir, so don't drink the water from the tap at the moment. You should boil it. It's some of the worst water in the area. Uh, it was to do with bad weather, so basically. There, it will. I mean, it will repair over time, but it's not a quick fix. So it's quite a chilled out area, though. That's why I love it here. I say, I mean, you just walk it. I mean, it's not far from the house. Is that a new building it's on in now, there. You can see I've been in the UK for a few months, a lot of this is after while I've been away. Got a load of picnic tables in here. The funny thing is you see all the signs that are sort of like no fires, no this, no that. And you get people turn up with LPG bottles attached directly on the top with a grill. Uh, they just don't care. <laughs> I'll just take you around this bit, then I think I'll call it a day on this video. Um, if you enjoyed it, please uh, like, please share, please subscribe, and please comment. I know there's a lot of guys out there that don't comment very often, but even if it's just say, I like the video, thanks, I appreciate it, cause, because it shows that people are actually watching some of this stuff. Ah, there's a new notice board, so there must be some developments going on up there.
yeah so I mean you come down here bring your picnic sit down bins are here as well I might be able to get you a flamingo I promise I think I can see one yeah there's one there literally one but it might be within viewing distance of the camera without a bigger lens Oh, there's a few of them actually. But yeah, I, I, I'm trying to get to stay in Spain long term without having to travel back to the UK. Uh, like I said, the company I just did some work for already, I talked about another contract. They've got a load of analysis stuff they're actually looking at now. Relating to the stuff I've just given them because I've sort of given them a program um, of what the need to be doing and looking towards uh, it's all positive stuff because they, there's a lot of things that need doing and have sort of been left for a long period of time so having a strategy towards it we yeah, appreciate it. it's a nice breeze here there's a flamingo over there you may have to zoom for him or her and i think that's an ideal time to say thanks for watching guys have a great day and take care.